To get regular updates, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. Visit our channel and get more learning videos under playlist option. There you can find current affairs, daily vocabulary, banking awareness, aptitude and much more. Hello friends, good evening, I am Dipali from Examin. We have been running the current of our show for the past 5 weeks and we have received a positive feedback from our viewers. The one thing we are not able to do is stick to the timings as we are trying to ascertain the current time slot for it. We request you to offer your comments to improve the quality of the show and this is the compilation of 10 by 10 current of our show by topic for this monthly digest. We hope that this will be helpful for your upcoming examination. In this session, we are going to see all the current affairs stories that have happened during the month of August relating to banking. Atal Payments Bank on Tuesday said it has partnership with Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited to give further boost to digital payments in the country and to add to customer convenience. All Airtel Payments Bank customers would be able to access a range of convenient banking services at these 14,000 fuel stations like opening new accounts, make cash deposits and withdrawals facility and also transferring money to the other account holders of other banks. Here is a question related to this news. Which among the follow is true considering payment banks? Option A. Payment banks can lend up to Rs 2 lakh for retail businesses. Option B. Small business loans up to Rs 10 lakhs can be granted. Option C. Deposits more than Rs 1 crore can be collected. Option D. There is no CRR requirement. You got 15 seconds to type in your answers. The right answer is none of the above. Payment banks cannot lend to retail businesses or small business loans. They cannot accept deposit more than 1 crore also. And there is CRR recommend for payment banks. So none of these would apply to payment banks. The Reserve Bank of India on Wednesday said it will set up a panel to review banks benchmark lending rate. After it noticed that lenders were not fully passing on reductions in the policy rate. Recently also RBI has reduced repo rate by 0.25% on yesterday. This committee will also look into the possibility of linking the marginal cost of funds based lending rate to a market determined benchmark rate. Bankers feel that the current system of MCLR is reasonably responsive and linking to a market rate could lead to interest rate risk. Here is the question related to MCLR. The MCLR norm by the Reserve Bank of India for banks instruct that banks should reset their interest rate option A half yearly, option B every month, option C once in two months, option D quarterly, option E annually. You got 15 seconds to type in your answers in the chat box next to the video. The right answer is every month. As per the new guidelines by Reserve Bank of India, banks have to prepare marginal cost of funds based lending rate which will be the internal benchmark lending rates based upon this MCLR interest rate for different types of customers should be fixed in a card. RBS class repo rate by 25 basis point by yesterday as expected. State Bank of India plans to raise 2000 crore rupees by allotting Basel 3 compliant bonds to various investors. State Bank of India said that the Committee of Directors for Capital Rising accorded its approval to allot 20,081 Basel III complaint non-convertible perpetual subordinated bonds in the nature of debentures aggregating to 2,000 crore rupees to various investors. The country's largest lender said that the bonds will carry a coupon rate of 8.15% per annum with a call option after 5 years or the anniversary date thereafter. Here is a question related to this news. According to the Basel III norms, banks have to maintain which how much percentage of tier 1 capital? Option A 3%, option B 4%, option 
option C 5 percent, option D 6 percent, option D 7 percent. You've got 15 seconds to type in your answers in the chat box next to the video. The right answer is 7 percent. According to Basel 3 nouns, banks have to maintain 7 percent of tire on capital. The World Trade Organization chief Roberto Azvedo has said that there is a clear risk of a trade war happening because of your protectionist policies. The World Trade Organization director general did not implicate any countries by name behind such policies, even though he was asked about the effects on United States President Donald Trump's America first stance could have on the global trading system. Where is the question related to WTO? World Development Report is an annual publication of Option A, Asian Bank, Option B, World Trade Organization, Option C, International Bank of Reconstruction and Development, Option D, International Monetary Fund, Option E, United Nations. You got 15 seconds to type in your answers. The right answer is International Bank of Reconstruction and Development. The World Development Report is an annual report published since 1978 by the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development, otherwise known as World Bank. Banks may require an incremental provisioning of 20% against cumulative debt of 50 large trust assets worth over 4.3 lakh crore rupees says a joint report by Asocham and rating agency Grissel. These 50 large accounts are from sectors such as construction, power and metals, among others, and constitute about half of the gross non-performing assets of the banking sector. On the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code, the report said there is a need to address various challenges such as intercredit conflicts ability of large corporates to delay the recovery process and burden on the National Company Law Tribunal or Debt Recovery Tribunal. Here is the question related to this news. If a borrower wants to file an appeal with DRAT against the decision of DRT under DRT Act, how much amount it has to deposit? Option A 75% of the amount, option B 50% of the amount, option C 25% of the amount, option D 10% of the amount, option E no need to deposit any amount. You got 15 seconds to type in your answers. The right answer is 75% of the amount. For Surface Act, the same would be 50% only, whereas one needs to deposit 75% of the proceedings in DRT Act. Within days of State Bank of India slashing interest rate on savings bank account, another public sector unit bank, Bank of Baroda has also followed the suit, cutting the rate of interest on savings bank to 3.5% till 50 lakh rupees. Effective Saturday, the interest rate on savings bank balance of up to 50 lakh rupees has been reduced to 3.5% from the current rate of 4%. However, the balance above 50 lakh rupees will be uh, retained to in 4% as earlier. Here is the question related to this news. How is savings bank interest rate is calculated in India? Option A based on daily average balances, Option B based on lowest balance held in the month, Option C based on the highest balance held, Option D balance on the longest day of the month, Option E based on closing balance minus opening balance. You got 15 seconds to type in your answers. The correct answer is based on daily average balance. As per the new Reserve Bank of India mandate, interest on savings account is calculated on a daily basis based on your closing account amount. Closing amount. The interest accumulated will be credited to your account on half yearly basis or quarterly basis depending on the savings account type and the bank's rule. Normally the 
formula for calculating monthly interest is monthly interest is equal to daily balance into number of days into interest whole divided by days in the year within days of state bank of india slashing interest rate on savings bank account another public sector unit bank bank of baroda has also followed the suit cutting the rate of interest on savings bank to 3.5% till 50 lakh rupees effective saturday the interest rate on savings bank balance of up to 50 lakh rupees has been reduced to 3.5% from the current rate of 4% however the balance above 50 lakh rupees will be uh, retained to n 4% as earlier here is the question related to this news how is savings bank interest rate is calculated in india option a based on daily average balances option b based on lowest balance held in the month option c based on the highest balance held option d balance on the longest day of the month option e based on closing balance minus opening balance you got 15 seconds to type in your answers The correct answer is based on daily average balance. As per the new Reserve Bank of India mandate, interest on savings account is calculated on a daily basis based on your closing account amount closing amount. The interest accumulated will be credited to your account. National Payments Corporation of India, the umbrella organization for all retail payment systems in the country, has achieved a landmark of 1 billion transactions volume in July 2017. The 1 billion transaction pertains to all types of payments handled by NPCA from check clearing and ATM clearing to IMPS, UPI, BIM application, rupee cards, POS, e-commerce and also other based payments. Here is the question related to this news. Which of the following is not a product by NPCA? Option A UPI, option B IMPS, option C Rupee, option D ECS, option E Beam. You got 15 seconds to type in your answers in the chat box next to the video. The right answer is ECS. ECS is handled by Reserve Bank of India and NPCA handles NFS, BIM, UPI, IMPS, NACH, Rupee and others. UPI from a few lakhs to over a crore transactions a month. The much reviled demonetization must have one big supporter in National Payments Corporation of India. NPCI's mobile only digital payment mechanism Unified Payment Interface that is UPI has gained currency and it was launched for seamless integrate transaction of money on smartphone just like sending an email with two factor authentication the number of transactions on the UPI platform has surged over the last one year from just over 1 lakh last September it crossed 1 crore this July Let's take a look at the question based on the topic which of these below application completely rely on UPI phone pay paytm bhim mobivic option a 1 and 2 only option b 1 and 3 only option c 3 and 4 only option d 3 only option e all of the services Your correct answer is 1 and 3. Phone Pay and Bhim are the two applications that completely rely on UPI. The Reserve Bank has asked banks to ensure customers locker remain safe and there is no negligence that could render banks liable to claims by locker holders. Besides, banks are being probed by the Fair Trades Regulator CCI for alleged cartelization in providing locker services to their customers 
customer rights expert said that the government the rbi and the banking industry cannot wash their hands off and earn money from consumers and not be made liable or accountable for quality of services for the con- customers are paying rental let's take a look at the question related to this topic what is charged when the bank customers you save deposit locker facilities your options are a commission b exchange fees c rental d safe custody charges and e interest amount The correct answer is rental. HDFC Bank which does not face any capital constraints will i refinance opportunities and acquire good assets according to the Kaizad Barucha executive director. Despite the bad loan challenges that the overall banking system is up against, Barucha said that he remains optimistic and excellent opportunities exist in further extending the working capital loan book across business segments. Today term loan constitutes about 30% of HDFC Bank's corporate banking book. Let's take a look at the questions related to this topic. Banks can avail refinance against loans made to the industrial units from. Your options are A. DICGC. Your option B is NABARD. Option C. ECGC. Option D. IDBI. Option E-I-C-I-C-I The correct answer is IDBI. The Industrial Development Bank of India is refinancing the industrial credit to other banks. Private sector Kotak Mahindra Bank said that it will offer debit card at a special rate of 99 rupees for the first year for the customer who will open account under a zero balance account scheme till September 15th to mark the occasion of the 17th anniversary of country's independence the special edition debit card will be available to customers who open an 811 account from August 8, 2017 to September 15, 2017, the bank said in a statement. Let's take a look at the question related to this topic. Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Yojana is primarily aimed at your options are improvising access to medical facilities. Your option B is infrastructure development. Option C, employment generation. Option D, financial inclusion. Option E, financial literacy. You have 15 seconds to type in your answer in the comment section below. Your correct answer is financial inclusion. Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Yojana, also known as PMJDY, is a national mission on financial inclusion. The main objective of the scheme is to ensure universal access to banking facilities with at least one basic bank account for every household. Recently, Kotak Mahindra Bank also launched an account named 811 with zero balance. Canara Bank has launched two digital products, Bharat QR, which is a platform for payment settlement of merchant locations, and Bharat Bill Payment System, which is an integrated bill payment system for net banking customers. Launching the products, Rakesh Sharma, the managing director and CEO of the bank, has said that the bank is always poised for a digital revolution and has begun to offer scores for total digital payment products and platforms to enhance the customer convenience by reducing the cash transaction. Let's take a look at the question related to this topic. What is the main usage of Bharat QR? Your options are option A to settle payments in e-commerce store, option B to send and receive money to friends, option C to settle payments at merchant locations, option D to buy gold and silver instantly through QR. 
your option E is none of the above. You have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below. The correct answer is to settle payments at merchant locations. The Chief Executive Officer of Quadratic Insight has told a newspaper that by adopting artificial intelligence and machine learning, some banks have automated their operational processes, resulting in cost reduction and a faster turnaround time. Some non-banking finance companies, that is NBFCs, Payments bank insurance companies, investment companies and other online financial services are also looking forward to upgrade their processor. Let's take a look at the question related to this topic. Who has developed the term machine learning? Your options are option A Elon Musk, option B Alan Turning, option C Stuart Russell, option D Nick Bostrom, option E Arthur Swamel. You have 15 seconds to type in your answer in the comment section below. The correct answer is Arthur Samuel. Machine learning is a subfield of computer science that according to Arthur Samuel gives computer the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed. Samuel, an American pioneer in the field of computer gaming and artificial intelligence coined the term machine learning in 1959 while at IBM. The public sector banks have reported a 20% jump in the outstanding loans by nearly 9,000 willful defaulters who collectively owed the lenders more than 92,000 crore rupees at the end of the March this year. Let's take a look at the question related to this topic. Willful default. A willful default would be deemed to have occurred if any of the following events is noted. Your options are Option A, default in repayment even when having a capacity to honor. Option B, defaulted in meeting its repayment and have not utilized the finance for the specific purposes but diverted. Option C, defaulted repayments and siphoned off the funds. Option C, defaulted repayments and disposed of the movable fixed assets or immovable property. Option E, all of these things. You have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below. The correct answer is all of the above. The Corporation Bank has backed the first two prizes in the annual Best Performance Award for the SHG Bank Linkage Program for Karnataka for 2015-16 and 2016-17 from NABARD. DM Majumudar, the general manager of the bank, has received the awards from Karnataka Chief Secretary Shubhash Chandra Kuntia at NABARD Bangalore. Let's take a look at the question related to this topic. Which bank has got award for SHG Banking? Your options are Option A Corporation Bank, Option B Karur Vaishya Bank, Option C Lakshmi Vilas Bank, Option D Bank of Baroda, Option E Bank of India. You have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below. The correct answer is Corporation Bank. The private sector banks in South are in race to set up the Aadhaar enrollment and updation facilities following a recent directive from the centre. The new initiative will enable us to speed up the process of Aadhaar enrollment, said DM Gajare, Assistant Director General of UIDAI, which is also known as Unique Identification Authority of India. Let's take a look at the question related to this topic. Who is the present 2017? Chairman of UIDAI. Your options are Option A, Sri J. Satyanarayana. Option B, Sri Rajesh Jain. Option C, Dr. Ajay Bhushan Pandey. Option D, Dr. Anand Desh Pandey. Option E, Sri Nandan Nilkane. 
you have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below the correct answer is shri j satyanarayana who has close to 4 decades of experience in varied areas of governance is the chairman of unique identification authority of india at present and he is serving the post as part time the reserve bank of india on friday has introduced a new 50 rupees denomination bank note this is the third currency note that has been introduced post demonetization after 2500 rupee notes the new 50 rupee currency note of the will be of the dimension 66 mm into 135 mm and will bear the motif of hampi with the chariot and will be carrying the signature of urjit r patel who is the governor of the reserve bank of india the base color of the note is fluorescent blue let's take a look at the question related to this topic what is printed on the rear side of rupee 50 note your options are option a mangalyan option b red fort option c motif of hampi with chariot option d indian parliament option e none of the above you have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below the correct answer is motif of hampi with chariot is posted on the back of the note the country's largest lender state bank of india accounts for over 27% of the total amount owed to the public sector banks by willful defaulters as many as 1762 willful defaulters owed rupees 25104 crore to the sbi as on march 31st putting pressure on its balance sheet The Punjab National Bank is on next on the list with 1120 willful defaulters having outstanding non-performing assets of rupees 12278 crores together these two banks account for rupees 37382 crore or 40% of the total outstanding loans let's take a look at the question related to this topic Which act allows the bank and other financial institution to auction residential or commercial properties to recover loans Your options are option A Industrial Dispute Act 1947 option B Foreign Exchange Management Act 1999 option D Banking Regulation Act 1949 option D SARFE SI Act 2002 option e none of the above you have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below the correct answer is sarfe si act 2002 The securitization and the reconstruction of financial assets and enforcement of Security Interest Act 2002 allows banks and other financial institution to auction residential or commercial properties to recover loans. The Center and the Reserve Bank of India are working on a scheme to boost the capital in public sector banks reeling under the pressure of bad loans. Speaking at an event organized by the Confederation of Indian Industry, RBI Governor Urjit Patel emphasized time-bound resolution of stressed assets. NPA uh, resolution would necessitate a higher recapitalization of these banks, Mr. Patel has said. that the government and the rbi are in the dialogue to prepare a set of measures to enable state run banks to shore up and the request of the capital in time bound manner let's take a look at the question related to this topic capital adequacy ratio means your options are option a a ratio of banks profit to its risk option b a ratio of central banks deposits to its risk option c a ratio of banks capital to its risk option d a ratio of banks capital to its total deposits option e none of the above you have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below
The correct answer is a ratio of a bank's capital to its risk. The City Union Bank, which has deployed robots to answer the customer query at its branches, is reprogramming a machine for collecting cash from customers and officials said. The robot named Lakshmi is deployed at its Srinagar branch in Chennai. It is currently answering customer queries. Now it has been reprogrammed to accept cash also. Let's take a look at the question related to this topic. Which of the following bank has deployed robots to answer customer queries at its branches? Your options are Option A Public Union Bank Option B City Bank Option C City Union Bank Option D ICICI Bank Option E HDFC Bank You have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below. The correct answer is City Union Bank. In a bid to boost its retail loan demand as a part of Festival Bonanza, State Bank of India has decided to waive loan processing fees on car, personal gold and other personal loans. The waiver of the fees on car loans is valid for applications received till December 31, 2017. The bank will waive 50% of the processing fee on personal loan loans till October 31, 2017 and the customers can avail 50% waiver on processing fees on Express Credit, a personal loan offering by the bank till September 30, 2017. Let's take a look at the question related to this topic. In which of the following loans SBI announced waivers of up to 100% processing fee? Car loans, gold loans, personal loans. Your options are option A, one only, option B, two only, option C, three only, option D, one and three only, option E, one, two and three. You have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below. The correct answer is 1, 2 and 3. The country's largest bank, the State Bank of India has announced a waiver of up to 100% of the processing fee on car loans, coal loans and personal loans. Paving the way for the quicker consolidation among the public sector banks, the cabinet approved in principle the constitution of an alternative mechanism likely to be a ministerial group that will oversee the proposals for mergers among the banks. Finance, Corporate Affairs and Defence Minister Arun Jaitley said that the, as of today, there are 20 public sector banks plus the State Bank of India after the cabinet meeting on Wednesday, adding SBI's five subsidiaries and Bharatiya Mahila Bank had already been merged with the country's largest bank. Let's take a look at the question related to this topic. Which of the following is a non-banking subsidiary of State Bank Group? Your options are option A. State Bank of Patiala, Option B, State Bank of India, Option C, SBI General Insurance Company Limited, Option D, SBI Capital Markets Limited, Option E, SBI General Insurance Company Limited. You have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below. The correct answer is SBI Capital Market Limited is India's largest domestic investment bank offering the entire government of investing banking and corporate advisory services. Reserve Bank of India is not in favor of allowing the non-banking finance companies to accept deposits. The Deputy Governor N. S. Vishwanathan said, adding that while the central bank has given the few NBCs license to accept deposit, it would not do so in the future. Let's take a look at the question related to this topic. Consider the following statements. Chit funds are type of NBFC. All NBFCs are ruled by RBI. RBI said any purchase of a stake of 26% or more in a company or a change in more than 30% of its directors would need the central bank's permission. Which of the following statements are true? 
your options are option a one and two option b two and three option c one and three option d all of the above option e none of the above you have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below The correct answer is 1 and 3. Not all NBSCs are ruled by RBI. Some are under SEBI, IRDA, etc. To accelerate the stress resolution in the banking system, Reserve Bank of India Deputy Governor Viral Acharya said that I think we should give banks 3 months to rectify the account. You can't rectify the account. It is a NPA. You have to file these in the case of the bankruptcies. Chapter closed. Referring to a recent decision by the market regulator, Securities and Exchange Board of India, directing companies to disclose any loans with default within a day. Let's take a look at the question related to this topic. What is the order of loan recoveries in order to a rupee? Your options are option A, 15 to 25 paise, option B, 25 to 30 paise, Option C 30 to 35 paise, option D 35 to 45 paise, option E 45 to 60 paise. You have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below. The correct answer is 15 to 25 paise. The loan recoveries are in order of the 15 to 35 paise to a rupee. The Reserve Bank of India has appointed committee on household finance has recommended that the bank should link home loan rates to the central bank's benchmark repo rate. The committee whose recommendations are not binding suggests that this will allow for better and more transparent transmission of interest rates in the economy of individuals. The bank should quote the loans to customer using the RBI repo rate rather than based on their own MCLR rates said the report released on Thursday. Let's take a look at the question related to this topic. Which of the following represent correct meaning of repo rate? Your options are option A, rate on which RBI sells government securities to banks. Option B, rate for borrowing rupees to buy banks from RBI. Option C, rate offered by banks to their prime customers. Option D, rate applicable for grant of priority sector loans. Option E, none of these above. The correct answer is the rate for borrowing rupees to the buy banks from RBI. The HDFC Bank on Tuesday announced a software update to create a single point of sale which is also known as POS machine which will accept payments through unified payment system, Bharat QR, SMS Pay and the bank's mobile wallet in addition to the traditional methods of swiping cards. The bank plans to carry out a software upgrade of its existing base of 4 lakh POS machines to create what it calls a DigiPOS at no cost to merchants. While UPI and Bharat QR were launched in August 2016 and January 2017 respectively, they are yet to find widespread acceptance with the merchants. Let's take a look at the question related to this topic. Which of the following banks has launched Smart Up for startup companies? Your options are Option A Bank of Baroda, Option B Allahabad Bank, Option C HDFC Bank, Option D Canara Bank, Option E State Bank of Mysore. You have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below. The correct answer is HDFC Bank. An August 18 circular from the Indian Bank Association to Chief Executive of Member Banks 
called a directive issued in the regard by the Union Ministry of Human Resource Development to Canada Bank, the Nodal Bank under CSIS scheme may keep its web portal open from August 23rd to November 23rd. The IBA circular said, it is the HRD ministry which provides the full interest subsidy to eligible students during the period of study plus a year of more and from period of one year. Let's take a look at the question related to this topic. Which of the following products of a bank is specifically designed to prove, provide financial help to children in their higher studies in India or in a foreign country? Your options are option A personal loan, option B corporate loan, option C housing loan, option D educational loan, option E mortgage loan. You have 15 seconds to type in the answers in the comment section below. The correct answer is educational loan. The Reserve Bank of India's annual report has finally revealed that as much as 15.28 lakh crore of the high value currency that was demonetized in the November returned to the central bank. The RBI report stated that the subject to future correction based on the verification process when completed, the estimated value of SBNS, which is also known as specified banknotes received as on June 30, 2017, is 15.28 trillion. Let's take a look at the question related to this topic. What is the estimated value of demonetized note returned to the central bank as on June 30th, 2017? Your options are option A 16.78 trillion, option B 17.48 trillion, option C 15.28 trillion, option D 14.18 trillion, option E 19.78 trillion. You have 15 seconds to type in your answers in the comment section below. The correct answer is 15.28 trillion.